The most beautiful country on earth, three most livable cities in Canada, over 14,000 graduates, and 20 unique programs in English. Welcome to Canada, welcome to Sprachal Language College. Hi, this is Ilias. As the Pathway Program Manager and the Marketing Manager for Europe, I will share with you today how you can live, study and work in Canada. If you want to learn about this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, please watch this video and listen to us. Hello everyone, welcome to SSLC's Pathway webinar series. My name is Ilias and I'm joining you from our Vancouver campus. Hope everyone is safe and doing well in their homes. Uh, thank you for joining our webinar. Uh, we will be talking about pathway programs in Canada and specifically SSLC's pathway program. We will be talking about your study options, your post-secondary education options in Canada. Why should you study in Canada? What are the advantages of studying in Canada? And what are the advantages of studying in Canadian institutions? So we will uh, be looking at uh, admission processes and procedures and what you need to know uh, to be able to successfully apply and become admitted into a Canadian college or university through SSLC's pathway program. So let's get started. Let's start with some background information about Sprachal Language College. From now on, I will refer Sprachal Language College as SSLC. Um, SSLC is one of the leading language schools in Canada with campuses in Toronto, Vancouver and Victoria. Uh, we've been teaching English training students for over 20 years. Um, we have a variety of programs. We have general English, pathway program, academic English program. We have specialized programs such as business English, power speaking and modern media communication for airline cabin crew training and IELTS test preparation. We have summer and winter camps, family program, co-op programs, <clears throat> you just name it. We have a variety of programs for all your needs. But today we want to focus on specifically on our pathway program. <clears throat> um, so it will be focused on our EP program and <clears throat> your options. Um, accreditations, we are accredited by uh, different uh, governing bodies, including PTIP, EQA, uh, and others. So if you are looking into studying in a Canadian language school, uh, you should consider looking into their accreditations. Uh, and you can see, uh, you can see that we are accredited um, uh, in, in, in the provinces that we operate in and um, and uh, with the federal governing bodies. Our affiliations, SSLC is under a big uh, parent company, which is called the CIBT Education Group. And under this group, we have uh, SSLC, Sprachal Language College. We have uh, Sprachal College, which is the oldest private institution, oldest private uh, college in Western Canada. Uh, and we have 17 campuses in British Columbia and uh, Sprachal College offers over 100 programs from business management to healthcare programs um, to tourism and hospitality uh, to early childhood, early childhood, early childhood education. And then, of course, we have our Vancouver International College uh, here in Vancouver, our um, Career College for International Students, where we offer our core programs, study and work programs. And then we have our student accommodation body, which is GEC, Global Education City, uh, our residences. Uh, we currently have four uh, residences operating in uh, Vancouver in Lower Mainland. Uh, two, our, uh, two of them are in Vancouver, downtown Vancouver, uh, walking distance to our campus um, in Vancouver, our campuses in Vancouver and two of them just outside of downtown Vancouver. So let's get into uh, uh, the Pathway program. What is it? 
pathway programs are uh, designed for students who are looking into studying um, in a college or university. So they focus on academic English, and these are intensive academic English courses, and they focus on academic vocabulary building, academic reading and writing, speaking, listening, and college and university skills. Uh, what are these? Uh, to give you an example, research skills, how to write an essay, um, how to write an academic essay, how to reference your essay. You learn about plagiarism. Um, you learn about uh, doing a research uh, on the internet. So you learn different set of skills in a pathway program. And the most important part is that once you complete a pathway program, you will not have to produce an English proficiency exam such as IELTS or TOEFL. So pathway program will allow you to enter to a college or university directly. So you will satisfy that specific colleges or universities English language requirements. So no need to take IELTS or TOEFL or any other English proficiency exams and we'll, we'll go uh, into this uh, in the later slide. And of course, right now we're running all our courses online under our SSLC virtual brand. Um, you can enroll in our pathway program uh, online. It's everything is the same. You just stay home and participate in the online class do your homework from from home and do your exams and once you complete you can <clears throat> get a certificate from us and you can book a free trial lesson with us and you can check and experience our live classes and inter interactive lessons online so if you want to attend a free lesson please uh, uh, contact us you can see the links below this video and uh, we'll get in touch with you right away. So let's go into SSLC's EP program, English for Post-Secondary Education, which is our, which is the main pathway program at SSLC. So EPE is an intensive academic preparation program for those who wish to enroll, those who wish to um, for a post-secondary institution, college or university, or simply just study academic English. Uh, so our EP program will not only uh, let you enter to our pathway uh, college or university directly without the need of IELTS or TOEFL, but it will also give you all the tools to be successful in, when you go to a college or university. So we will equip you with all the tools needed uh, academically uh, in English uh, once you go into a post-secondary institution. No matter what you study in a college or university, students need to take a first year and a third year English course in Canada, if, if this is a bachelor's degree. Um, so no matter what program you study, no matter what discipline you choose to study, you'll have to take English and <clears throat> you have to know how to write an essay, write an academic essay. And it's not easy. It's writing essays is not easy for even uh, native speakers. So you need to learn these skills uh, prior to attending a college or university. So what we do in, in this course, in EPE, we teach you how to do exactly these things, how to uh, write a professional academic essay, how to reference this essay. Uh, we'll teach you um, how to uh, develop an idea and put it in words. Um, we teach you how to present your ideas uh, and your essays. And then we teach you, um, we give you um, all the vocabulary we teach you all the vocabulary you will need. Um, so there are so many things that you will learn with our AP program. 
But what are the details of our EP program? <clears throat> so we teach our EP in three different locations uh, in Toronto, Vancouver, and Victoria. Uh, it's a 12-week program. It's it's very intensive. It's 26 and a half hours uh, per week. So the schedule goes from Monday to Thursday, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And on Fridays, it's 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Uh, so it's very intensive. Class size is maximum 15 students. And you can start every month. So we have a monthly intake uh, or uh, every four weeks. So you can start every four weeks. EP consists of three modules, and in each module or in each month, you will be learning uh, different things. Um, so in the first month, you'll be focusing on multi-meaning words, academic vocabulary. Uh, you'll be writing about different types of essays. You'll uh, learn about summarizing skills. Uh, you'll learn about plagiarism, how to find sources on the internet, um, and note-taking in lectures. And when you go into your second month, or the module two, uh, again, you'll be uh, working on your academic vocabulary. Uh, you'll be <clears throat> writing about uh, different types of essays again. Uh, you'll focus on your grammar. Uh, you'll have case studies, and uh, you'll have presentations, so you'll focus on your speaking and your seminars. In module three, uh, again, uh, you build uh, on your academic vocabulary, uh, you write uh, essays about cultural studies and climate change, you work on your essay development, and um, you learn about developing and supporting arguments. So in every month, uh, you'll be learning about different skills so that when you eventually go on to a college or university, uh, you'll be ready to take any course. Uh, it can be English or it can be a writing intensive course, and you'll be ready to uh, write uh, an academic essay. Well, what are the outcomes? So, um, once you complete our EP program, um, you will not only improve your English but you'll also improve your academic skills. Um, you'll improve your academic vocabulary, reading, and essay writing. Um, your academic grammar, spelling, and sentence structure will be improved. Um, and most importantly, you'll learn research and presentation skills. Uh, I think this is the most important because uh, when you go to a university or to a college and when you're asked to write an essay, um, it's really important. You, you Sometimes students don't know where to start, and this is the key point. If you want to write an essay and if you want to write an effective essay, first you need to uh, find good sources and you need to do a good research. So uh, you'll be learning this. Uh, in our EP class. Um, and again, study skills and note taking, and you'll be doing independent projects and assignments. Uh, there will be some group work as well. So, um, again, when you go to a college or university, you'll have to do uh, assignments on your own or with a group. So, you will be developing um, uh, these skills with EP as well. What are the admission requirements uh, to our EP program? Um, so there are several ways that you can get in. First of all, if you don't have any English proficiency score or if you even don't know what your English level is, you can simply contact us. We can send you um, an online exam and we can find out what your level is. Um, so if you're not at the right level for EPE, you can start with our ESL. And if you take our ESL skill focused, if you complete our ESL skill focused level four, you'll be able to move on to uh, our EP program. Um, alternatively, 
if you are in Toronto and doing um, our skill combined uh, ESL uh, program, then you have to complete our level eight there. If you have already written an IELTS or TOEFL exams, but you did not achieve uh, the required level, uh, then you can submit that to us. If you have minimum IELTS 5.5 or TOEFL IBT 61, uh, you can also uh, enroll in our program, or you can just submit any other internationally recognized English proficiency test score. So we will evaluate it and we will let you know if you are a good fit or not. We may ask you to do maybe additional writing, um, essay writing, and then we'll, we'll find out if you are the right fit for the program or not. But uh, in the beginning, as I said, you can just simply contact us. We will send you our uh, online entrance exam. And then if you pass that, we'll ask you to write an essay, uh, about uh, five paragraphs. Uh, we'll, we'll ask you to write a five paragraph essay. And um, <clears throat> if you pass everything, you'll be able to enroll in our program. So <clears throat> SSLC's uh, Pathway Partners, uh, we have over 35 uh, Pathway Partners in Canada. Uh, these are colleges and universities, uh, both public and private. For the full list, you can refer to the link below. Uh, you can check out our website. And if you have any questions, of course, you can always contact us or contact myself. So once you complete the EP program, we'll go into the advantages now. Uh, once you complete our EP program, you can directly enroll in these institutions in our uh, uh, partner uh, institutions directly without uh, providing additional English language proficiency. So, what are the advantages? Again, uh, as we discussed in the beginning, you don't need any test scores. So, some we know that some students are afraid of taking exams, tests. They get um, uh, they get nervous, uh, which is fine. Uh, once you complete the EP program. You don't have to deal with any of these English proficiency tests. Um, you get an intensive practice. Uh, you get uh, you you don't only in, you're not only improving your English, but <clears throat> you're also adding uh, other skills uh, to your to your existing uh, level. Uh, you're 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 both learning. Uh, you're both improving your English, but at the same time, uh, you're getting a lot of practice speaking, writing, uh, reading, and uh, you learn uh, academic vocabulary. Um, and we mentioned the English part, but we also prepare you academically. Uh, we cover all the areas and uh, we'll, we basically give you all the tools that you will need once you move on to a college or university. This is very important. Um, writing is uh, hard for everyone, even for native speakers. So once you go to a college or university, you need to know all the skills uh, that we teach in EPE. Your English may be good. You, know, uh, you can get a good score in IELTS or TOEFL, but still you may not uh, know all the skills or all the tools that you will be using when you go to a college. For example, you may not know how to reference an essay, how to cite an article. Uh, so there are different types of uh, uh, referencing, uh, like MLA style, APA style, Chicago style. So you'll be learning uh, all the small details, and these will help you succeed uh, in your uh, post-secondary studies. Another advantage, of course, we have small class sizes. So, uh, so your teachers uh, will be able to spend more time one-on-one uh, -on -one with you uh, and see where you are uh, and see uh, where you need uh, more um, support. 
And of course, the curriculum, uh, we have a wide variety of post-secondary level curriculum topics uh, covered in each module and uh, evaluation. Uh, so you'll be taking monthly tests and uh, uh, we'll be doing uh, academic counseling to evaluate your progress uh, from day one. You'll be um, uh, talking to our pathway managers or coordinators in each campus and um, we will guide you through uh, uh, we will guide you through uh, everything. And we have discussion groups, extra classes, uh, workshops, and presentations that you can attend. And we also have college and university campus tours. So you can, uh, if you're interested in a college or university, uh, we set up tours for you. Uh, or uh, colleges and universities, our partner colleges and universities, visit our campuses uh, for info sessions. So you learn uh, directly. You learn you learn more information about that specific institution uh, directly from their representatives. Um, so now we're going to talk about um, studying in Canada and why should you study in Canada. So there are many reasons why you should choose to study in Canada. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them because I'm sure you already know uh, everything. Uh, you already know uh, most of the things, but I'll just touch on a few things. First of all, uh, Canada has one of the highest quality of life. Uh, it's it's uh, a very welcoming country. It's, it's very safe. And uh, and Canada has been voted as having the number one highest standard of living in the world. And uh, so uh, you can enjoy uh, Canadian lifestyle while you study in Canada. And once you study in Canada in a Canadian institution, it will be recognized worldwide, internationally. Uh, so wherever you take that certificate, diploma or degree, uh, it will be recognized. and and then, which makes our next point, it will things will be easier for you, and it will be easier for you to find a job once you graduate from a Canadian institution. So um, your career prospects uh, will be increased. And um, compared to other um, English-speaking countries. Uh, Canada is more affordable, both tuition-wise and uh, cost of living. So <clears throat> um, it's it's more affordable for students and families uh, to study and live in Canada. And another advantage, of course, we talked about um, studying and working in Canada. After you complete your college or university, uh, it has to be a degree conferring uh, college or university, or, or it has to be public college or university. You can, um, you will be eligible to receive, uh, you will be eligible to get up to a three years of open work permit, post graduation work permit. So every year, Canada welcomes um, over 250,000 immigrants, and likewise, uh, 250,000 international students. So Canada, as many of you know, is open to immigration. And uh, and now, if you study in Canada, uh, you can get up to three years of open work permit, uh, which will later allow you to immigrate to Canada. And I guess uh, this makes uh, Canada a very favorable uh, destination. So, what are your options? Well, in Canada, there are three different types of post-secondary schools. Uh, of course, we have universities and then colleges and institutes. So let's go into uh, each one of them. Colleges are usually designed uh, to 
train students for the job market. So uh, there are uh, some areas where you can have your bachelor's degree from a college as well, but they're usually, they're mostly, um, uh, they usually prepare students for certificate or diploma programs so that you are job ready in the end. And most of them offer co-op programs, uh, cooperative education, where you'll be doing uh, one semester of um, uh, paid or unpaid work. Uh, and your college will be placing you uh, depending on, on your program. And universities are uh, more academic. Uh, they're usually, uh, if you want to get a bachelor's degree, it's usually four years in Canada. Uh, you need to complete, depending on your program, uh, on average about 120 credits. Um, and um, uh, you learn uh, theory uh, uh, instead of practical skills like in the college you you focus more on theory and um, you can have bachelor's degree and if you already have a bachelor's degree you can do master's degree which are more advanced uh, uh, courses and they and it usually takes one to three years to complete and of course uh, you can do PhD doctoral degree uh, if you are already holding a master's degree so there are three types of degrees. <clears throat> From what you need to study in a Canadian college or university or in undergraduate studies. So if you want to go into a college, um, you just, of course, you need to complete your high school. You need uh, high school graduation. Uh, you need your high school transcripts and diploma. Um, and this will be more or less enough to get into a college. And, and of course, um, you'll also need uh, your English proficiency. So if you don't have an English proficiency, you can obviously complete it with us, with SSLC, complete your EP program, and then you'll be able to get into a college with your high school graduation. Uh, depending on the program or programs, um, you might need to have your letter of intent or motivation letter um, and you might need references or additional information depending on the program again uh, this is for now this is for both college and university um, if you want to study in a university um, universities will also look at your grade point average your gpa so higher the gpa Better university in Canada, uh, but colleges will not uh, necessarily look at your uh, GPA. Uh, all you need is just a high school graduation, your transcripts and diploma, and and your English. If you want to do postgraduate studies, uh, let's say you are holding a four. Uh, year degree, an undergraduate degree from your home country, and you want to come to Canada to do a postgraduate or postbaccalaureate uh, degree, then of course you need to complete your uh, undergraduate degree uh, in a university. You need to have your university transcripts and uh, diploma. Depending on the school, on the program, of course, they'll be looking at your GPA, grade point average. Um, they will need your resume, letter of intent, and if you want to do masters, uh, again, depending on the school or on the program, you may need GMAT or GRE requirements, uh, and um, um, that's about it. Um, so again, uh, we have partners who offer uh, post degree, uh, postgraduate uh, degrees. Uh, post baccalaureate degrees in Canada, and um, of course, you also need an English proficiency for postgraduate studies as well. So, you can either have your IELTS score, uh, in, or you can simply just study with us, uh, enroll in our EP program, and once you complete it, uh, you'll be able to uh, transfer without the need of any other English proficiency scores. 
So how does it work? If you want to come and uh, come to Canada and uh, study at a college or university, you can, first of all, go to our website and contact an SSLC representative. Um, so you can contact us and then you can apply to our SSLC pathway program once we uh, go through all the admission uh, requirements, once you satisfy all the admission requirements. Then uh, once you get accepted, we will plan your studies in Canada uh, together. So depending on what you want to study, uh, we will find the right college or university that needs uh, that fits your needs. Um, and then we will apply to that college or university, or we can apply to a few of them. Uh, then receive your conditional letter of acceptance. Uh, and then once you have SSLC's um, letter of acceptance, LOA, and your conditional letter of acceptance from uh, the college or university, then you're ready to apply for a study permit. Uh, and once you have your uh, student visa or study permit approved, you study with SSLC, complete our pathway program. Uh, you can do this. You can do this online now um, for 12 weeks, and then you enroll in your post-secondary institution. So it's that easy. And in every uh, step, in every stage, uh, we will be helping you. We will be with you from the beginning to the end until you successfully enroll your post-secondary institution. Uh, we will even help you with uh, choosing your courses on your first semester. We will, we will be helping you uh, with your tuition uh, payments, how to do that. So we will guide you through uh, everything uh, from A to Z. So all you have to do is just go onto our website, contact us, and then we got the rest. The sun hits the planet on a different kind of angle down here. It's beautiful, it's lovely, and it's sophisticated. Canada offers stunning landscapes, beautiful natural wonders, and the Sprott Shaw Language College. Our school was founded to amplify and expand the opportunities you have in life. At Sprott Shaw Language College, we want to put you on the path to greatness. We take great pride in serving as your educator, mentor, and advisor. At our core, we are educators. Nothing makes us happier than to see our students progress and develop personally. As a country, Canada is home to a great mixture of diverse nationalities, cultures and personalities. SSLC mirrors that spirit of multiculturalism on our campuses. Being surrounded by so many interesting people will inspire you to do great things. Vancouver is home to many attractions that bring people from all over the world. Join the incredible melting pot of ideas, philosophies, perspectives and ideologies that we call British Columbia. Many people are attracted to the cosmopolitan lifestyle that Victoria City offers. If you love living in a highly diverse, multicultural modern city, living in Victoria will be perfect for you. As Canada's largest city, Toronto has unique opportunities you will not find anywhere else. Meeting interesting and influential people will increase Increase your chances of finding learning opportunities and discovering your true life's passion. Join us at Sprottshaw Language College to enhance the quality and success of your life. Now is your time.